this is a different style of in the raw. My beloved divine friends, family, brothers and sisters. It is not the typical dynamo of me, Haji, Dr. Roshan Khan, of introducing in the raw. This is more tender, more subtle, more caring, more humanistic. It has to do with the passing of an absolute scholar, an absolute gentleman of the old era of political powerhouses, yet a man imbued with the best of elegance, skills, communication, beyond ethnicity in thought, and a total, absolute, wonderful soul. His name is Oscar Clark late former Minister of Home Affairs and General Secretary of the People's National Congress. So this man, this beautiful soul, ladies and gentlemen, as an indo guyanese youth growing up in the upper quarantine, and he was an administrator, manager of the People's National Congress offices, headquarters in Corriverton. But he's a man, you will go visit him, and he will be so loving, always a candy and a sweet and a beautiful word, totally bereft of ethnic priorities and racism or anything of that sort. You know, I, I, I really don't know where he came from. I don't know if he's originally from, from, from that area, but he was totally an absolute gentleman. I pray that his family be blessed and his children and all of them, grandchildren would know that this Oscar Clark was a scholar and a genius gentleman. Now, I recall as a young man, I was telling my staff a few minutes ago, this recording has been done on May 16th, Thursday afternoon, a minute to four, in which I'm a bit moved because I didn't know he was sick, you know how life goes. But there was a time when he was became the Minister of Home Affairs. And he would have that was that was a time when Indo Guyanese were being controlled through party paramountcy and system to become a policeman, a soldier, and be employed in the government system. And so when someone goes to him for a job as a policeman, I recall, someone by the name of Roshan, uh, an elder cousin of mine, he had my name too. He was Roshan Zaman of Queenstown and I was from Kingston. And Roshan Zaman got his papers and so on, went ready to go. I was referred to by an afro guyanese Muslim man in Upper Quarantine, Skeldon, to help people, and particularly maybe the Muslims, uh, in certain cases. And when the boy went there for the job, Oscar Clark welcomed him, because he knew all of us. As little kids we grew up, huh? and he welcomed Zaman and he tried to put things in order to employ him in the job, to put him as a, to be trained and to be approved as a policeman. But then, when going through the papers, something was not right, and he went and said, "But, but, 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 Zaman, um, something missing here, man. I see the recommendation. I see the letter. I see the high, the, high, the paper from high school." Um, but something is missing. Something. He said, well, what is missing? He said, listen, listen, you have to go back to that man who gave you this recommendation or reference to see me, a reference to see him. He was a, a party activist, a Muslim short, beautiful guy with a beard and so on. But he, he, he was in upper party. We don't know what's race, you know. I learned about ethnicity and race consciousness in, 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 in Region 4, ladies and gentlemen. So he, he said, listen, I can't help you. You've got to go back to that man. I'm waiting for you. So when he went back to that gentleman, God bless his soul, 
The guy said, why, what I forgot, man? Man, 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 for what I can't, I don't know. Are you going through the paper? Then, then it dawned on him. Oh, shucks. Look, 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 go, go in the draw. Bring, bring the card, bring the green card. So it's a green card, not for permanent resident, but a green card to get your employment in the Guyana party, Paramountcy of Forbes Burnham. So he filled up the form and showed that Zaman was a member of the People's National Congress. And when he went back there, Oscar Clark said, okay, now have all your papers and approved him for to be a policeman in the Guyana police force. So this is the kind of a man this was. But he had to fulfill the party paramountcy system, even though he didn't like it himself, of Forbes Warner. So this, I wish his soul, his family, I want you to know, Oscar Clark was a genius scholar gentleman. Former General Secretary of the PNCR, Oscar Clark, died Wednesday afternoon after collapsing at home. Well, his time came. And he obviously was with his family. What a way to die. You don't want to die in a hospital hooked up to all kinds of machines. When my time come, and they hook me up the machine for a couple of days or weeks or months to prolong my death at the drain the insurance if possible. I prefer to be home with my loved ones. If they will ever want me, I hope my children and family will want me. So I'll die in their arms near to them. So he, he had a beautiful passing. And he had a beautiful life. In a statement, the PNCR said, the party has lost a stalwart. And that is true. In Oscar Clark, who was a Cacique Crown of Honor awardee, the party is very saddened by this loss. The void he left can never be filled. We wish to, to extend our sympathy to his wife, children, family, members of our party, and the Guyanese people. May his soul rest in eternal peace, the statement said, and I concur. He was truly a gentleman. And a beautiful man. General Secretary of the PPP, Mara Jagdi, also expressed condolences on behalf of the party to the People's National Congress Reform and the relatives of Oscar Clark, who served the party as General Secretary through the tenure through the tenure of three party leaders retired back in 2017. He was General Secretary for three party leaders, ladies and gentlemen. I was going to mention that, but I see it here before I talk. And he was a powerful party leader. And when Russian Khan would go to visit the PNC office, he would be treated like a scholar, like a gentleman, by this amazing man. He was appointed General Secretary of the PNCR on the 1st December 1968. He started his service at the PNC in its youth arm. And H-26 was selected to represent the party in the National Assembly in 1965. He was made a parliamentary secretary and served as deputy speaker of the, P of the National Assembly from January 1st, 1969 to December 31st, 1969. I'm feeling a little bit of him, but God bless his soul. He had a good life and he has a full life. It's time to go. We have to go. For over five decades, Clark served as a Minister of State, Minister of Regional Development, Minister of Home Affairs, a Guyana's High Commissioner to Zambia, and the Frontline States Ambassador of the Republic of Cuba. Something he was proud of, that even to the end, the new government of the PPP, C, when they took in 1993, they never deprived him of his diplomatic passport. He told me that. He was proud that he was able to keep his diplomatic passport. He served as a member of parliament for 21 years. and 20, 2015, he was awarded the Cacique's Crown of Honor for exemplary public service to Guyana. May God Almighty bless his family. He has had a good life. Let us bless him. I applaud him. And I'm happy that I have known this man as a gentleman and a scholar. This is Haji Dr. Roshan Khan on behalf of my staff, my management, my wife, my family and I, we wish the family peace and joy for having enjoyed such a soul 
in the family and to be having in the children and the grandchildren his theory. Your friend, your brother, me, Haji, Dr. Ocean can in the raw, in a different mode. Say thank you, Fibra French. <laughs>